Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to use burn folders to back up and archive some of your data. A lot of people dismiss burn folders as a quick way to simply just get a bunch of data onto a CD or DVD. You just drag a bunch of files there, burn the DVD, and throw away the burn folder. Burn folders can be so much more. See, the key is that burn folders don't contain the files you're burning onto the optical media. They contain links to those files, aliases to them. So as you update those files, the burn folder is updated as well. So here's my documents folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new burn folder by selecting File, New Burn Folder. And there it is right there. Now, when I select the burn folder, I can see that I get a new bar at the top that has the name of the burn folder and burn. And that's how I create a CD or DVD from it. Now, when I drag things into the burn folder, like for instance, I drag this folder called Archive, notice that I get a link to it here. So it's Archive, and you can see it's indicated that it's an alias to that file. So what will happen now if I burned that folder, I would end up with everything in that archive folder. But if I burn it tomorrow, I'll end up with updated data. Anything new that was put in that archive folder will instantly be in that burn folder as well. So for instance, if there's important data that you're updating all the time, like say some spreadsheets, some pages documents, things like that, then you can create a burn folder that has links to all of those files or the folders containing those files. Then you can quickly go to the burn folder, burn a CD, and then go back a few days later and burn the CD again and you'll have the updated versions of those files on the CD. So it's a really quick, easy way to create an ongoing archive of very important files. Now you can even get more clever than this. You can combine smart folders and burn folders. So for instance, go ahead into the finder here and create a new smart folder. Go ahead and define that smart folder by something like saying everything in my user folder that has .txt because I want to save all my text files every time I create a copy of this burn folder. And then I hit save and I'm going to go ahead and move it to that burn folder right there. And now when I go ahead and look at the burn folder I can see there's the archive and there's also my new smart search right there. And anything in it is also in the burn folder. So now when I burn that burn folder I'll get every .txt file in my user folder plus the archive folder as well. Now you can use burn folders for more than just archiving. Like for instance, say you have a regular meeting at work and at that meeting you like to give out CD-ROMs that contain updated spreadsheets and data and maybe your presentation. And every few months you give the same presentation at your meeting. You can go ahead and create a burn folder that has all the files you need in it and then just before every meeting you can update those files and then burn the burn folder and you have updated version of that CD to give out to everybody. And then later on after the meeting if somebody says hey I lost my CD or can I have another copy of it you can go back to your burn folder and create another copy of it right away. Or say you have a burn folder that basically contains links to some of your favorite pictures. And you can go ahead and anytime you want to give somebody copies of all your favorite pictures you can quickly burn a CD from that burn folder. And then you can keep adding to it and the next time you burn the CD it will have the new photos on it as well. You can keep a whole collection of different burn folders somewhere in your documents folder and use them for different purposes. They're very handy. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMost Now.